the sale from Fort Lauderdale to Charleston is supposed to be about 50 hours, 50 to 60 hours. I keep thinking on the low end and in reality, it'll probably be on the high end. There's three of us, so we're doing three hour watches. Um, so that means I'll be up three hours in the middle of the night, Charles will, and then Josh is gonna take two of the night shifts. And we've learned so much already. And it's definitely not like getting ready for a charter. There is so much more that goes into getting ready for a passage and I guess I kind of thought it was all going to be simple today but thank goodness we have some amazing people with us here to help and now we're finally ready to go. Cause all that I want is for you to be happy Give me a chance to show that you can be Well open your eyes and see the way I see Cause all that On my head, chest on my chest To the sound of voices and of drums I will show you how the West was won We left New York City with our windows down We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down So basically we're going to go straight to east out until we hit the Gulf Stream because it's going at about three knots right now so we're going to hit it as fast as we can um, and then once we get into the middle of it we will cut basically straight north for the entire trip The Gulf Stream curves around when we get closer to Charleston so we'll stay in it a little bit and then at the shortest point between the stream and Charleston, we'll cut in. Bought a cheap car and got down on one knee. Picked up a guitar, I started rhyming. So we just got going, and I am feeling incredibly, incredibly anxious. And I don't know why. I, I guess it's because I honestly couldn't tell you how I'm feeling. Um, I think I thought I was going to have a lot of time, a lot more time, to get ready for this trip and get my head on straight, but because of the storm and because we want to be safe, it was all rush, 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 and we just had to go, and now I'm just feeling lost, I guess. Not only literally lost, because I don't know where I am right now, but emotionally lost and figuratively lost because I'm not used to having to rely on other people. I'm a fairly independent person, but when it comes to sailing, I don't have all the skills I need to be able to do what we're doing right now. And I'm relying on Charles, which is something I've, I've grown accustomed to, but also Josh, who I don't really know that well and admitting my gaps in knowledge and my lack of abilities to a stranger has never been a strong suit of mine. So, yeah, I just feel overwhelmed. I know that that is something that I signed up for. So, I'm just going to have to get used to it and I just need the practice and I just need to learn. So I'm going to go back above deck and start helping. I feel like a few small successes above deck and a little bit of nature, the sun is about to set, will probably pick my mood right up. And after watch tonight, Hopefully I feel a lot better and a lot stronger about being out here. But that's the plan anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My first watch was very uneventful. 
you see a boat? I saw no boats. I did see the entire sunrise from the second you could see light on the horizon, which was cool. Yeah. Uh, really interesting colors I've never seen before. But uh, yeah, 10 knots speed the whole way. Maybe drop below 10 for a few minutes, but you didn't tell me they think it's actually going to be a hurricane now. Yeah, I was really tired when I got off watch, so I didn't really talk to you much. Overnight, the tropical storm that we left to avoid was upgraded to a hurricane headed for the Florida coast. We've sailed about 120 nautical miles in the last 13 hours and are 40 miles off the coast near Cocoa Beach. From where we're sitting, the weather and water are peaceful and calm, so much so that we all get a chance to sit back and relax a little.
I was only on watch for about an hour and a half and then he came and took over for me. So now I am finishing up his watch the last hour and a half of his. And um, I gotta say, he is much better than I do because I'm watching the dawn break and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to lobby for this spot next time. As we settle in to our last day at sea, I begin to understand the idea behind Groundhog's Day, a never-ending blanket of waves surrounding you at all times for hours on end. As we float on a breeze, effortless with ease, will you dance along with me? We've discovered this new life. Watch our fantasies ignite as the sky opens wide. Let's sail as far as we can, chase our dreams as long as we can. We'll see this world. The waves started getting a little intense, so I came downstairs with the dogs, but honestly, we are really rocking now, and I just don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna go upstairs and check on them. I have, and I just have to leave the dogs down here and I'm sure they'll love that, but. What's going on? Uh, well, we're about a mile outside the jetty and uh, we went to turn on both engines and the port engine won't stay on. There's something going on with the exhaust, um, which is bad because it's an outgoing tide and we need both engines to get through the tide. So we're trying to figure out how on one engine we're gonna get through the jetty. Um, and I really don't know what's going on. So I know you wanna film our arrival, but right now I think Josh probably needs some help up front to mess with the sails. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. So we, we were able to get into the jetty, into the harbor using just the starboard engine on max power and a head sail which gave us enough power to get through the uh, outgoing tide. Now that we're in the harbor, um, out of the five to six foot seas, Josh is down in the engine room trying to get everything uh, sorted with the port engine because we really don't want to have to try and dock with just one engine, um, especially the currents around Charleston are really strong. So um, hopefully he's able to get that done. All right, Josh actually thinks he fixed it. So we're gonna try turning the engine on and see what happens. Oh my gosh, it started. It is officially time to dock this boat. We should be at the marina in just a few minutes. Oh, 